people on earth Open your eyes, take off the sunglasses so you can finally see Take off the mask so you can breathe Stop walking in darkness, walk up in the light It's the truth that will set you free, don't hide anymore See the enemy, he only came to steal it Kill and destroy, steal and break everything that you ever had in your whole life Anything that ever made you happy, he came to take away He doesn't want you to be happy he wants to destroy you. He wants you to look away from God's face and destroy yourself. He wants to make you think that God is bad. When the enemy is the one destroying your whole life. See how sick he is? He's the master of liars. He's the master of deceivers. He is evil in all ways. Don't believe none of his lies. Don't ever believe anything he has to say. He wants you to turn your face away from God and make him think that it's his fault that nothing has ever worked. How can you blame God when you never even seek them and you never pray and ask them for anything? The Bible clearly states, Seek me, knock, and I will open, and you will find me. And Jesus also said, Only through him you shall see the Father in heaven. So if you don't accept him, you'll never see him. You'll be cast into the pit of hell if you don't make the right choices. So please stop and listen. God came to save your life. He gave you eternal salvation, eternal life. He came to give you love and love and abundance. Since all the riches in heaven is all there. Don't pay attention to everything that you see on this earth. Everything that we build and we gain here, we can't take it with us. The only thing we can take Every single day is what God gives us. But when you die, all stays behind. Your clothes, your shoes, your homes, family, and friends. That all stays behind so in the end you gotta realize and comprehend. Salvation is individual. Working on by yourself, don't depend on no man, but the word of God is set you free. But as so long as you live and you know Jesus, spread his word, do his will, do good no matter what happens, no matter how many people come to destroy and kill, God is bigger than any enemy on the earth, God is the spirit, but his power is greater than any other dominion in this whole world, God is a mystery. That's how it was going to remain. He gave us the book of knowledge. Of good and evil. It's called the Bible. You should try to read it sometime. You'll see it's a miracle. When you start reading for the first time. And you start believing. You start seeing things you never saw. Trust and believe. You have experiences you never thought you ever have. Because while you was in the world. You was blinded by the enemy. And all the things he put in front of you. God always tried calling you. He said look to the right. Look to the left, but you never looked up. God has always been there, but the enemy is always behind you. He blinded you, always said left and right. He got right to the money and left the whole world. You think you have the whole riches to be happy and you never can. Following the enemy, all you do is a false, false plan. Enemy is a deceiver. Don't believe anything I'd say. He only came to destroy, but man, God came for you. God came for you, but the enemy came to destroy. So open your thoughts and finally come to realize, when you do evil, evil only comes back to you. So when you hurt others, they stand up to come after you. So what good is it to do evil, knowing there's consequences to it? But when you do what God wants, evil will not stand in front of you and destroy you because God is bigger than anything. He has dominion and control and power over everything on this whole earth. And I know and trust and believe that everything big is in the spirit world before on earth. God had planned everything before you was even born. He know what you was going to ask him before you even asked him. He knew your whole journey, your whole plan. 
as long as you was on this earth. And all you ever wanted you to do was just follow him. He always puts people in front of you and tells you this is the way that life is truth. But many are just ignorant and don't want to follow. Because they've been so corrupt in the world for so long that they're used to it. And it's hard for them to follow. But can't you just finally realize? Everything you've ever done in the world for the enemy has never worked. Every plan you've done has always failed. And in the end of the day, no money, women, drugs, video games, or any of the fanatic crazy things in the world that you've ever lived and dreamed for and never came out just today. So come to realize, no matter how far you seek, across the ocean, worldwide, state to state, place to place, nothing you ever do will fill your heart on this earth. There's only one thing, one thing that can fill the empty hole in your heart is Jesus. He's the only one who came with a perfect plan for your life. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Receive the Holy Spirit, the gift of knowledge and wisdom, happiness and joy. You see things you never saw before. You see the truth of everything you've ever lived. God will open the eyes to the things you never thought were real. He revealed to you the good and bad. Things will start finally making sense in your path. Start making better choices. All he ever wanted for you was to rise and stand up and for him and his glory and praise him and worship him and no matter what happens to the good and bad. Sacrifice no sacrifice. Do his will and all things are possible. Have faith. Never doubt. Fast, read and pray the Bible and you will see through him all is possible. Never let the enemy give entrance. Because he only comes to destroy. Don't give him no space. All you have will fall down to drain. But you gotta understand and acknowledge that in Jesus' name there's power and authority. Through him, the Bible says all is possible. So he also gave us dominion and power to trample over our enemies. And when he seen when he means enemies, he means our spiritual enemies. Cause those are the ones that follow us day by day. But now I see and I believe. If I am filled with light, light shall it be. And the Holy Spirit walks with me. And the angels guide me. Protect me from all evil and all the with different things. Nothing can harm me because the power of God is greater. Nothing can touch me. I'm son of God. My knowledge can only grow and consume and get bigger. Through God all is possible and I believe and I see it. When I started off in the beginning, my mind was corrupt. I lost tons of weight and I couldn't find my way. When I stepped into his church, I felt something I've never felt before. It was totally different from the world. And the only thing I wanted was more and more. And I couldn't stop. I wanted to breathe and keep breathing. I finally felt like I took the mask off. And started to see the truth for what it really is. I said to him like my Lord and Savior. I took my burdens off. I broke my chains and set me free. I received the Holy Spirit. And I think that's it, people. This is the end of my video. God bless you all. And to those that some of the lyrics didn't make sense because I was just thinking about it at the moment. So I may have to work on it just a little bit more. Johnny Cruz, out.